high and mighty above the CME Group floor. Joining us for Traders Unplugged, Alan Nuckman and Scott Shelley are ready to rumble. Topic number one, guys, bananas. Apple split with Apple stock split and trading under $100. Is it better to own the stock or an Apple product? Well, this is an old trick. Uh, that you're gonna you're gonna claim here. They split the stock, makes it more attractive for investors. But I think this is nice now that the individual investor can afford these shares instead of five hundred dollars. The upside target now that it's been adjusted is one hundred dollars and seventy five cents. The old highs seven percent above a good buy. Surprising that you're going for the middleman being ripped off here, the the <laughs> the, the middle middle person being ripped off here. They're absolutely not. I think that what the, they have been the innovator own the own their products now. But the new innovator on the block is Google. Own that stock, not Apple. Apple's not the innovator anymore. Keep you can. Buy a lot more Apple the, than you can Google. On the plastic because Google is better. Topic number two, new Dow theory. Is it a foregone conclusion that the Dow will sell off every time 85% of Dow components are at a new high? I don't think it's a foregone conclusion. It might line up every now and again. Maybe it lines up every now and again with the uh, the, the Middle East tensions. But I, don't, I wouldn't say that it's a 100% guarantee. So are you indicator. bullish? Uh, I'm not bullish, no. I'm disappointed in the Dow, but I like distressed stocks and sectors. The Dow is only up 1%. I think there's more upside. Football season, my friend. Nike, Nike's down 5% in 2014. Look at that as an opportunity. Lean on 70 and Nike as a Dow component. Topic number three, Swiss mischief. There's talk of Walgreens moving its headquarters to Switzerland. Is that stock a good investment? I have some major problems, not with the stock itself. The stock's been amazing. But the fact is they just got huge million dollar subsidies from the state of Illinois two years ago to not move. Now they're going to move to save $4 billion. Really? And they get all their money. They get all their money from Medicaid uh, and Medicare pharmacy. So there's so if the state of Illinois gives them money, they can't do anything. They can't continue to work for the in the fiduciary, you know, for the. Their responsibility, yes, to make money, so, yes, so make they, money. So yes, because the money. state of Illinois gave them money, they can't do that anymore. They can't make I think the next move. There's a certain responsibility, a corporate responsibility that you have if you're to getting, their shareholders. If you're getting your money from the government, that's where their profits come because in. Because they're drugs. I mean, it's I a like different CBS. Deal. CBS stock, I think, can Here play catch Brian, up. Yeah. If you're going to go in that sector, I'm what not touching Walgreens. What happens when CBS goes over, overseas? Then what then happens we'll, when CBS then we'll talk starts to run their their, their, we'll their company? Then we'll have to change the why, tax code. Why can't it be let's a change, tax issue? Let's right. change the tax Why can't it be a government code. issue rather than the Walgreens issue? Would you buy the stock? Yes or no? Yes. And your bonus round question has to do with Dad's Day. Father's Day ranks near the bottom of consumer spending holidays. True or false? I must say, absolutely true. <laughs> for you, <laughs> for me, yeah. I get a tie. How much does that cost? Well, ten people buying for one versus one buying for one. That's a different <laughs> oh, story. Oh, oh, oh. That. <laughs> I'm sorry to say the answer is true. Oh. Scott is correct, and I feel That's bad blasphemy. for dad. That's liable and blasphemy. Thanks for being on the show. First business continues right after this.